Okay, so here we're going to do the A natural minor scale. It has the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then if we kept going, it'd be A. We call that H or start back at 1 again. So it's just our alphabet from A to G. And there's no sharps or flats, so the, the notes aren't raised or minus to any frets. If you play the red F, it tends to be tense and wants to come back a fret to the blue E, because that's in the chord, if you want the resolve sound. The B, it's labeled green, but it could probably be labeled orange because it's a little bit tense on this chord and it would want to come back to the blue C. So the whole idea is we're going to try and target or end our melodies in this songwriting game on the A minor triad and root position, first three strings. We're going to target each of the blue notes when we end our melodies. So we've got A, we've also got a G, third string. A, B, would often want to resolve to C. D, E, F, would often want to resolve back to E, but we keep going, F, G, we could hit the I, high A. So we're gonna try and make a melody out of this, but always end on blue. A, G, A, B, C, D, F, E. So when I ended on the E, it sounded ah, like I resolved to that triad, those three notes, that's where we end. But you can walk away to these other notes, but always come back to the blue A, C, E. So this is how we can write a melody over a chord, is if we think of the chord notes in blue, and then we've got all the, the notes that are beside it, that we can, oh, they're like neighbor notes that you can walk to and walk back. Um, some of them are fiery, more tense, and some of them are less fiery. Usually what I find is one fret away from a chord tone is pretty tense, like the F, it's one fret away from E, it sounds pretty tense. Two frets away sounds a lot less tense. Um, so like the G note is two frets away from A. Doesn't sound super tense, it's kind of chill. So that would be our A natural minor jam in the triad of the root position first three strings.